because you hate Batman or because you know what the song is. Can I tell you something? Something super fucked me up today. It's really funny how shit can creep up on you like this. So I played in Mansfield, Texas last night at Steampunk November. Look, I know y'all city folks. I know you're like, Mansfield? I don't have a cow to feed. I don't need to go to Mansfield. That show is so fucking good. It's like a Ren Fair, but with like cogs. It's really great, it's really great. But anyway, on the drive back, we passed Six Flags. And I, I am a fucking 12 year old mentally. And I see an amusement park and I get super excited. Now, I remember many, many years ago, there was a Batman ride. We're, we're passing past the park, and traffic is slow, so there's time to examine all the rides. And the young lady who was kind enough to give me a ride, she's like, yeah, that's the Batman ride. Yeah, it's next to the Joker ride. I was like, there's a Joker ride? I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like around the corner from the Riddler ride. I was like, there's a Riddler ride? You're like, yeah, it's, it's next to the Catwoman. I'm like, when the fuck did Six Flags go balls deep into DC Comics? Like, Every fucking ride at Six Flags. Woo. Thank you for the nipple clap. Woo. I really had no idea that every fucking ride at Six Flags had something to do with Batman. It's basically Batman Park, isn't it? I don't disapprove. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, when I sing a song called Offended and I say that people shouldn't be so fucking offended, let me just point out that I think you know the kind of person I'm talking about. The person who's offended by everything, mostly stuff that doesn't affect them in any way. That is not to say that there are not things on the internet to be offended by. There's plenty to be offended by. Let's just start a fight in here, shall we? You know who I hate? Those fucking liberals. He said it. He said it. The Republican guy said it. And the girl in the back said, everyone attack and it turned into a ballroom blitz. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let me get through this. Now, everybody's got their issues, and that's good, because we can't all be on every bandwagon. It's good if there's something that moves you personally, and that's what you're fighting towards, because that cause probably needs you. For me, it's bullying. I don't fucking support bullying. I, I was severely bullied as a child. When I say I was severely bullied, I don't mean that kids called me fag. I mean that kids call me fag while taking turns beating me up and spitting in my mouth. That's what I mean. Like, I was severely bullied. Luckily for me, things were worse at home. So when I'd go home with a black eye, my stepfather would then beat me up because he said that I wasn't a man because I didn't win the fight. So this was the kind of environment that I grew up in. And on a daily basis, I heard the words, you should kill yourself. And it wasn't said in a nice way, if there's a nice way to say it. It was said, nobody likes you. You should kill yourself. Nobody in this school likes you. Do this school a favor and kill yourself. Your own family doesn't even like you, which was true. You should fucking kill yourself. And like a pop song that you swear you're never gonna like, when you hear it enough times, it starts to seep in, and one day you find yourself standing in a Cinnabon going, na, 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 I'm in love with the body. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I make fun of it now because what is comedy if not tragedy plus time? But I promise you, I promise you, that as a teenager, this was not funny. Because when you're a teenager, you don't know that there's people outside of your town who are different from the people you know. So I really thought, it wasn't just my town that wanted me dead. I really thought the entire world wanted me dead. 
There was only one person who I saw eye to eye with, and that was my girlfriend, and she killed herself because she took their advice. And I was about to take their advice too, and I don't fault her at all. But then one night in a diner in New York City, New York City, I wish, in New Jersey, because there is nothing to fucking do in New Jersey but go to diners. I walk into the diner looking like Disco Dracula, and I got food thrown at me, and everybody called me a faggot, and all these big muscly dudes made fun of me, and their girlfriends laughed at me, and I was just used to it. This was just the way it was. I went to the back booth. I opened up my sketchbook, which was like my TARDIS. I could open up that sketchbook. I could write stories in there and disappear into the stories. I could do drawings and disappear into the drawings. And so I just ignored all the hate. And then at 2.30 in the morning, a group of people walked in through the front door. And I went, holy fucking shit, the circus has come to town. There were people dressed like vampires. There were people dressed like space aliens. There were men dressed like women and women dressed like men and I was like I have no idea what the fuck is going on over there but where do I sign up? And they were called names. They were called names but the difference between them and I is that they gave zero fucks. They walked into a that I'm going to refer to as the leader of the group was like six foot five. He was a white guy with tiny little blonde hair and he was wearing a corset, fishnet stockings and heels. And he was just like... And after a while, he got up from the table and he came up to me and he said, you look kind of lonely here. Would you like to join us? And that act of random kindness did something amazing because for the very first time in my life, I realized that there were other people like me. Literally the first time in my life, I was like, oh my God, there are other people on this planet who love horror and who love science fiction and who love kinky shit. And I, and I tried to be as respectful as I could. I said, I'm, I'm really sorry, please forgive my ignorance. Well, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, are you guys coming from a costume party? He's like, no, there's this movie we go to see every Saturday night. I said, you see the same movie every Saturday night? He's like, yeah, we throw toast at the screen, we sing along. And they took me to see Rocky Horror Picture Show. Upon seeing that, I changed my mind about dying. I decided that instead of dying, I would just run away from home and seek out my tribe. And I went to New York City, 17 years old, no job, no friends there, no house, no money. I went there and the moment my pointy skull buckled boots touched Manhattan soil, or as we call it there now, sidewalk. <laughs> everything changed, everything changed. People walked up to me, they said, oh my God, you look so fucking amazing. Will you be in my movie? Oh wait, are you famous? Can I take your picture? Wait, you make animated films in your basement? That's awesome. I'm like, you're not gonna hit me? <laughs> no, that's fucking fascinating. And it was then that I realized that there was never anything wrong with me. There was something wrong with all those closed-minded people in that tiny little shitty fucking town. And so, if you left some tiny little podunk town where they just did not understand your fucking level of awesomeness, they misinterpret it as something that's wrong with you instead of realizing that it's what makes you fucking amazing. And you found your way here to the bustling metropolis of... Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Know that this
this song is for you. This is called Raised by Bats. In this steeple made of chrome, above a city of steel, I've chosen bats over people. Cause I never did like the way humans made me feel. So we sleep all day and we rise at night and we spread our wings and take them to the sky. And the people all stop and stare and say, why you gotta be like that? I just look them in the eye and tell them I was raised by bats. I was young, I was feeble, and it stung when they pushed me down. I was so hated by these people I knew I had to do what I could to get out of that town So I ran away to the sacred place And was taken in by creatures of the night That's you! Say why you gotta dress like that I just look them in the eye and tell them I'm a cosplayer! Fuck you! Spread our wings and take into the sky. We do it all. 